Welcome back into 13 News at 4. The feds say they just put a big dent in a big crime affecting people around the world and right here in Indiana. The Department of Justice announced it has taken down one of the most destructive ransomware groups in the world. Ransomware groups are described as pretty much modern day bank robbers who've attacked hospital systems, schools, governments and businesses. And it's kind of a, a crime that's really been growing for years. We were actually attacked. We first introduced you to Steve Long back in 2019. The president of Hancock Regional Health had never imagined finding himself in the middle of a cyber war zone. I get this call from our administrator on call and he said, hey, there's something weird on a computer in the lab. Criminals had hacked into the hospital's IT system and locked everyone out from some of their most critical information. The hackers demanding a ransom be paid to get it back. Since then, ransomware attacks like that have become an epidemic, with local governments, schools, and businesses sending their attackers a record $1 billion last year alone. But this week, Today, we can announce law enforcement officials in the U.S. and the U.K. announced a big break in the battle. The National Crime Agency has successfully infiltrated and fundamentally disrupted Lockbit. Lockbit, one of the most active ransomware groups in the world, having targeted more than 2,000 victims and extorting $120 million in ransom payments. According to the indictment, the cyber criminals deployed ransomware beginning in 2021 against manufacturing, logistics, insurance, and other companies around the world and here in the U.S., including Indiana. You know, it's a big deal. Um, Lockbit has one of, been one of the most malicious ransomware variants of recent years. The problem with these types of things is that this can quickly become a game of global whack-a-mole. Um, so even though this network has been taken down today, there's no reason it can't be reorganized and pop up again somewhere else tomorrow, potentially with an even more damaging variant. And that's what's so frustrating for law enforcement around the world. So far, five people have been charged in this latest case. Investigators say there could be more. And the DOJ says these takedowns would not be possible without victims coming forward and reporting the ransomware attacks. So if it happens to you or your business, call the FBI so they know about it. Yeah, it's one of those things like when you have to file a police report, you don't always know if something's going to be done about it, but mm -hmm. you still want to report it. They've got to know. Yeah. Yep.